Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back. Jordan here. Very exciting day for me today. I uh, got some stuff. It arrived. The parcels finally came. Some awesome stuff for the Lego City. Yes, some game changing things. I'm like super hyped about it. So today we're going to be unboxing all of this stuff. All of it's actually not even here yet, but I've got one parcel here from Lego. One from Bricklink, and another one right here from Whatnot, which is full of minifigures. And I actually am waiting for one more from Bricklink. That's probably going to be about that size as well. So as you can imagine, like that right there is a big old thing of parts. Like that is bigger than a turkey. <laughs> Let's crack this one open and see what's inside. Yeah, so this one's from Whatnot. It's from a seller known as Fat Figs. That's fat with a PH. Thank you for hooking up some awesome minifigures. Oh, it's included a packing slip in there. Get rid of that. Ooh, look at all the minifigures and stuff in there. Oh, looks like he might have included... Oh, no, I got that. Some bulk parts and stuff, too. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I forget what I ordered. This is like a, a set right here. Okay. Yeah, cool. A set without the minifigs. Oh, and there's the instructions for it. It's the Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. That's right. I forgot that I... I got that from his Buy It Now store, so that's cool. And there's a bunch of figures in here as well. Oh yeah, quite a few figures. Let's have a look at them. Whoa, I'm just unpackaging these and I just noticed this. I was like, what? I didn't buy any of these. It says to give away or sell in your stream. Look at that. There's like a pink Darth Vader in there. And look at this. There's a green Darth Vader right here. And these are official Lego pieces. You see the Lego stamps? That's pretty cool, eh? A green and a pink Darth Vader. Also, look at this, another one. I think this is a glow-in-the-dark Darth Vader. <laughs> so I think they just use like the glow-in-the-dark pieces. And the head pieces, like, I don't know if those are actual, like, I'm pretty sure those are actual Lego. They look legit and they're stamped. Pretty cool, hey? Thanks, Fat Figs, for hooking it up. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna continue on packaging these things. So check it out, we got some pigs, yes. We got Batman and the Joker from the UCS Tumblr set. That's the Heath Ledger Joker. Got the DeLorean figures. So that's uh, Marty McFly and Doc Brown. C-3PO from the UCS Land Speeder. McGonagall, the gold figure. We got Mickey in the firefighter outfit there. Olaf, another Batman. Thanos, Hunter, Captain America. Well... The new Captain America. Then we got uh, Boba Fett. The Vaders. Like there's like a pink one. The glow in the dark one. The green one. Superman. A couple Mandalorians. Daredevil. Obi-Wan in the back corner there. This ice cream dude. So many good figures in here. Yes. I'm glad that I uh, was able to stop by the stream and pick up some of these. So thanks again Fat Figs. Also thank you so much for the uh, surprise there. We got some like bonus figures which were pretty cool. I don't even know who that is. Who is that? What are you from? I don't know. But I'm excited about these ones here. These ones cost a pretty penny. I bought them directly from his Buy It Now store. Like the Doc Brown, Marty McFly, Joker, Batman, C-3PO, McGonagall. And then these other ones I just won on auction. Oh no, I bought these from his Buy It Now store as well. But yeah, it was fun. Just sort of bidding on stuff. Pretty cool. So that's all the figures that we got. Also, I have this here. That's the Obi-Wan Kenobi Starfighter. I actually have one of these brand new in box. I've got to build it still. Now I have two of them, I guess. I also got uh, this little foil bag as well. This is my first ever foil bag, I think. No, that's a lie. It's not my first ever foil bag, but whatever. This is the Imperial Shuttle Pilot. Oh, I didn't even point this out. Look at that, Spider-Man. And also Betty. Lots of good figs here. I love figs. Very cool. That one's neat too. Oh wow, he's got a blue head. Okay. Oh my gosh, I was getting ready to move on to the next box and look, there's another figure in there. Woohoo! Okay, you know what, real quickly, I forgot to place these when we dolled up our Home Alone house the other day. Old Man Marley and Kevin's mom? Oh man, we gotta place those. There we go, now we got Old Man Marley right there. It's giving Harry and Marv a mean look. And then, uh, She's greeting the pizza delivery guy. Okay, I want to talk about the Home Alone house. Recently, I Mills played it. I put it over here. 
I decided to take away the snow from the base of it and I thought I was going to be changing the roof color to gray or something like that. The reason I did that is because a lot of people were commenting and saying that, oh my gosh, there's no snow in your Lego city. So it doesn't really make sense that the McAllister's house is covered in snow. Are you going to change that? So then when I made the changes or mills played it, I was like, you know what? I'm going to change it. I'm going to get rid of the snow. And now I actually did a poll on my Instagram and 65% of the people said that it should be snow covered. And 35% of the people said that it should not be snow covered. And a lot of the comments in the previous video about this or me mills plating this say that it should be bills or it should be snow covered. So I think I'm going to be bringing back the snowy vibe. Some other changes that I'm going to be doing as well is I'm going to be narrowing this path. It's currently eight studs. I agree it should be six studs. Same with that one there. That should be six studs. And I also agree with uh, decreasing the size of the garage. It's currently 24 studs. So there's not a big gap right there between the house and the garage. So I'm going to be shaving off about maybe four studs from the garage. So it's going to be 20 studs rather than 24 studs. Yeah, so I'm probably going to be doing snow covered trees and stuff like that in here. I don't know if I want to change all of the plates, like the green plates to white. I think that's almost too much snow. I almost want to do it so it's like starting to change seasons. So rather than changing all of the plates, what I'll do is I'll just put some white jumpers and plates and tiles and stuff like that on the green grass as if it's just snowed a little bit and it's currently changing seasons. And then also you'll see that I have a whole bunch of parts that are going to help us improve the look of this in one of those parcels over there. This is not that parcel though. <laughs> this is not going to help us with the McAllister's house, but it is going to help us in a big way with the Lego City. And I've been waiting for this one forever. It's finally here. Woohoo! This was supposed to be here in August. You probably know what it is. All right, check it out. It's our Brickling set. Woo! It's the bowling alley. <laughs> yes. 2,793 pieces. Holy smokes. I better get building this thing. We're going to unbox it and take a look at the uh, components within. That is awesome. So I actually ordered one other Bricklink set that's supposed to be here, but it's still in Ontario. It shipped at the same time as this, but it's still not here. It is the Venetian houses, and I've got some really cool plans for that set. I'm really excited about that one. But obviously we're gonna be building this one first and placing it in the Lego City. It looks pretty clean though. I like that white packaging. So these are the Bricklink designer program sets. So I think it's twice a year they launch these sets and they're sort of fan designed and funded by Lego and actually packaged and sold and produced and shipped and everything by Lego. So it's pretty cool. Like, I'm stoked on this set. Let's crack it open and check out all the bags and everything within. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, gray base plates. It's two base plates. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. You got to get your instructions online. So no instruction manual for us. Just scan the QR code, I assume. Ooh, gray base plates. I love that. That's awesome. I mean, I'm going to be mill plating them anyway, so it doesn't matter. But, yeah, just like a Lego set. Look at that. Believe it or not, this Lego set is just like a Lego set. Wow! Well, that doesn't really look too intimidating, does it? Not very many bags, but 15 stages there, and then all these large pieces. Sticker sheet's not too big, but you can see the Dave's Cafe is going to be sticker pieces. I wonder if those are going to be able to rotate. Like, are they on jumpers or something like that? I would assume. Yeah, looks pretty good. I'm going to have to download my instructions and get building here, though, so stay tuned on the review on this bad boy. And then I can't wait to place it in the Lego City. I've got some ideas. My original idea is already faulty though, because <laughs> I thought it was one and a half base plates. I built this specifically for that. So obviously that's gonna have to change. But I do have some open uh, space. You see that base plate right there behind the old Sanctum Sanctorum and beside this police station? I'm thinking I'll be able to render something in there. If not, I've got a bunch of open space, as you all know, over there and a bunch of open space over here. So I've got some uh, thinking to do about where I'm going to place that once it's built. Okay, so now let's move on to the uh, choking hazard here. Let's take a look at what's inside. I've been talking about this order for quite some time and I was serious. I wasn't joking around. Look at that thing. And this is only parcel number one of two. Believe it or not, there's another one that's valued around the same because the duty charge was the same, like $87 in duty or something like that. So it's on its way, but look at that. 
tree building material. We're going to be able to create some nice angles with our branches now too because we have these and these here. So tree building material. We got some limbs for the trees. Yes, we need more trees for like medieval. Also for the McAllister's house. Then I got all of these slopes. That is a lot of slopes. Oh, there's more over here. All of these slopes. Now, these are larger slopes. I have, um, hmm, where are they? Let's see if I can pull this. Yeah, I have uh, one by two slopes, like a lot of them, like a ton of them actually. And this is all my other slopes that are like similar to these ones. But I needed more because we're building rock edges and mountains and stuff like that, and we need slopes. So now we have them. Then I'm doing platform coverings. I found some one by tens on the pad wall the other day, but look at this platform covering material, platform covering material. Yes, yes, sweet. Road building material to build our curves. Perfect. Oh, these are also allocated to trees because you got to stick these hoses through the middle so that they don't break. Oh, there should be like a thousand of the one by one cylinders in the other parcel that's coming. There's also, I believe, a thousand blue two by two bricks that's on its way as well for mills plates. Then we got these just because I was running low on dark gray wall builders. Some more stuff for roads. Holy Toledo, this is only half of it. There's a bunch more coming. I am super excited for that to arrive. And then I'm going to have everything we need to start working on projects. Now with that over there, the other bricklink parcel that's coming. All of the stuff that we got from the pad wall the other day, I'm going to be able to build all of the platform coverings, detail all of the rock, build our mills plates for the winter village, build approximately 100 trees for McAllister's house and for the medieval area and for the campground and for the Lego city because we want to put taller trees in the Lego city like we did the other day. Big tall trees in there. I think it just looks better than the little bushes. So we got a hundred trees, we got slopes, we got everything on its way. And we also have a bowling alley and the other set that we have on the way is the Venetian houses. Venetian houses, I've got a really cool idea. So once we get this all detailed and stuff, we'll have a little waterfall coming down like we do over here. And then this is gonna transition into a river. The river will probably flow off the table somehow. And then we're gonna put the Venetian houses down here, a little body of water. Just thinking of getting some water down here. That'd be pretty cool. Sort of close to the downtown core and flowing from that body of water. Would be pretty neat. My phone's dying. Oh no. Gotta go back to the charger. Crazy, hey? I filmed this with my phone. Samsung Galaxy S22. Just the standard one. Video is pretty good. Audio is a bit, you know, it's questionable. It's not as good as like my wireless mics and stuff like that. But sometimes as a creator, you're like... Oh, I don't feel like hooking up the mic for the 40th time for the day. I just want to just walk around with my phone, you know? Okay, so we got the parts. We got the, the bowling alley. We got everything here. It's going to be exciting. I'm going to get to work on building that bowling alley. Just hanging out upstairs, watching some movies with the kids, building that. And we're going to get that bad boy place, so stay tuned for that. Then I'm going to work on the McAllister's house and get these platform coverings going. You guys know the deal. <laughs> yeah, I'm just having fun. Oh, we got some cool figures from uh, Fat Pigs as well. That was cool. Thanks again, man. Appreciate it. But yeah, just sort of having fun. Doing my best to uh, keep building and keep having fun. So thank you so much. I wouldn't be able to do it without, uh, without you viewing this video. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I look forward to getting all of this stuff used up. Because once all these parts are used, the city's going to look incredible. Everybody, have yourselves a terrific day. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.